Wait, no, no, but guys, it's getting warm. I haven't really broken out like really bad or anything. and I'm a lifestyle YouTuber here on YouTube. My skin type is very oily and I would say like also I struggled with like larger pores and like blackheads on my nose. We are reviewing the Kiehl's Rare Earth Deep Pore Cleansing Mask and this is a totally unsponsored review so just keep that in mind this whole video so I will be completely honest with you guys. So now let's just get into the part of the video that you guys actually came here for. As you've seen from the title, we are reviewing the Kiehl's Rare Earth Deep Pore Cleansing Mask. I think the packaging is quite simple and like kind of the minimalistic look. It's not like the cutest or the most aesthetic or anything. And another good thing about it is since it comes in like this tub, it is really good for traveling. It like low-key looks like yogurt. It kind of just smells like lotion, like normal normal cream like lotion. Okay, why does it literally feel like a cream, guys? Like, it kind of low-key looks like a lotion too. What the heck? That's like really weird. Okay, so I just took my makeup off, so I kind of am bare faced now. I looked it up on the website and it says to apply like a thin layer after cleansing your face and to leave your skin a bit damp. So let's just wash my face with water and then leave it kind of damp. Now it's good. And now we're going to apply a thin layer wow it feels like literally a lotion it does not sting or anything wait no no that guys it's getting warm why is it getting warm oh, i'm kind of scared kind of scared there we go now the face mask is on and we're going to leave that to dry for 10 minutes so i'm going to talk to you guys kind of about the product um so it is a pore minimizing mask and the key ingredient in this is amazonia white clay from the amazon river which is kind of sick and there's also aloe in this which is great aloe has so many benefits how i'm going to take this off is just with a warm damp towel um usually i just take off my mask by just splashing water splashing water but i'm not going to do that way because maybe we won't get the full effects and I want the full effect, so see you then. <laughs> now it is off. I'm looking kind of crazy. Let me just... I like low-key can notice a difference on my left side. Wait, like this is like literally real, guys. Like I would not... <laughs> I would not lie about this. Wait, I'm kind of confused. Hey, anyways, I will see you guys in three days. Okay, guys, happy day three. For today's review, we are going to do a makeup test, which is why I have makeup on, obviously. The text is still quite there except for in like certain spots like here my chin is pretty good my forehead pretty good like there's really no texture there as you can see it's like still quite oily on this side and like there's still some texture up here but other than that it's actually pretty good what else i've noticed is i haven't really broken out like i literally haven't like broken out badly but i haven't seen a too much difference in the texture of my skin like so i just update you guys with that um and then i'll see you at the end of the week one and i'll also do the mask one more time this week because I think two times a week is a good amount. I will see you guys then. Okay guys, so it is now the end of week one. I'm gonna talk to you guys about how it has changed my skin and the texture and just stuff like that. So let's take my makeup off and um, start putting the mask on. So I just took my makeup off and now we're gonna be applying this. So I'm just gonna talk to you guys. I have not seen that much like difference in kind of like the appearance of my skin, like the look of my pores or anything. Like the oil also is definitely not decreased. Only thing I would say is that I think the texture of my skin like around my cheeks has gotten a lot smoother. So it is definitely like better, like I would say around here. Like the texture is definitely getting better, but not physically, but not like my pores aren't necessarily decreasing by a lot. Yeah, that is a week of using it so that might change within two weeks of using it but and i'll see you guys in 30 days goodbye
Hello guys, it is now about 10 days later. I just wanted to talk about how it has been to this point. So I just put on the face mask and honestly, I think for me, the biggest difference I have felt and kind of seen but more felt is the texture, like especially around here. Like it is a lot smoother than it was before. Like the size of my pores, I don't think they've really gotten smaller. I haven't really broken out like really bad or anything. Nothing like negative. My skin has not gotten worse or anything. But then I'm gonna see you guys again in a few days for the last review because it will be day 14. So I will see you guys then. Hello guys, happy day 14. It is the last day of this review. It is actually a bit longer than two weeks just because it is a face mask and I've been trying to not use it super often because otherwise it can irritate your skin one final time i'm gonna put the mask on and then i'm gonna wash it off and then i'm just gonna talk to you guys again now we're gonna let that sit for 10 minutes okay so just put the mask off obviously and I just want to say, after last time and this time, I'm not going to lie, my skin is actually improving. Like, I thought like that it was okay to ignore the water developing in the back, but I thought it was going to really do anything. The area like around, like kind of here, and like down here, here you can still see like, like pores and stuff, but like here and here is actually like kind of improving my texture, kind of low-key smoother. Like, I'm not gonna lie. So, has it been working? Were the results worth it? Was it worth it? Was this mask worth it? See you tomorrow for the final review. Okay, so that brings us to the final review of the face mask. Was it worth it? Should you buy it? Was it worth the hype? First of all, I'm going to rate the face mask a four to five stars. I do think that I didn't break out like at all. And I also think like the texture of my skin is a lot more smooth. However, I don't think my pores look like minimized or smaller. I think the texture definitely improved, but it does claim that your appearance of your pores will minimize, which I didn't really see. My my skin refining I think I definitely saw and I did definitely see an improvement of texture however I didn't see my pores getting smaller do I think it's worth the price let's see how much it was 125 milliliters it is $48 Canadian is that worth it I don't know it really depends on you I feel like because face masks are something that you don't use all the time right like you're not gonna use a face mask every day and it's not gonna run out super quick so i honestly do think it is worth it if you want to spend a bit more on a face mask it does improve the texture of your skin and you also don't break out so if you do want to pamper yourself every now and then i do think it's worth it and you want to improve the texture of your skin i do really recommend it mm -hmm. but yeah i do think that is all for this video so i really hope you guys enjoyed this review hopefully you got something out of it and just hopefully gave you some clarification on what it does thank you guys so much for watching um and you guys should totally click the subscribe button to the glowish channel because this channel is very helpful if you want to know what type of skincare products you should use and if they work because people are actually testing it out rather than the company being like it works you know <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching the glowish channel and make sure to go watch the next glowish video i'll be watching with you guys so make sure to go watch it See you guys later. Bye.